Alright YouTube, what's up? I'm back with another video. And if you're like me, and you've been procrastinating and not leveling up your battle pass, where well, I got the perfect guide for you. So stay tuned for the rest. Okay YouTube. Um, From one game of Team Rumble, I got this. I got this. I like it. And I got 100 V-Bucks. Now, I've been procrastinating a lot. I, I've, I'm too lazy to level up the battle pass, but you know... It's only 24 to 23 days, depending where you live, left until it ends. So I was like, you know what? Why procrastinate? Might as well just finish it up. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to give you guys two tips to do this, or three actually, to do this. Or actually four or five, I'm not sure. I'm going to give you as much as I can. So as you see here, I'm level 80, I think 7, yeah, 87 on my battle pass. And I've been procrastinating a lot. I still got all this to go. Okay. So what you want to do is every time you get online, so let's say a new day has passed by. And you get these quick challenges that say 14,000 XP under quick challenges and each of them give you 14,000 like let's say pistol eliminations if it was a new day after 24 hours it would give me 14,000 XP for pistol eliminations but it's random the first thing you want to do sorry the first thing you want to do out of everything is do those because that's gonna give you easy 14,000 XP for I don't know harvesting metal right a loot shark pistol eliminations well, you might think this is really hard. How am I gonna get pistol eliminations and and solos or squads or duos? That's where Team Rumble comes in. That's where Team Rumble comes in. I say Team Rumble is probably one of the best game modes. As you saw there, I probably leveled up two to three times in that game I just played. You could do quick challenges. You can do. You could do quick challenges, you could do normal challenges, you could do weekly challenges with ease and Team Rumble, you could probably complete 3 to 2. Lucky enough, you could complete 4 to 5. Now that's the first one, alright? 14,000 XP quick challenges. You want to do those first. Now once you finish those, you're like, oh, the others are useless. Why would I want 1,000 XP? Well, you combine all these together and you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5,000 XP. Plus the other four, I'm not good at math, so I'm not going to add that. But you get around 5,000 XP or more. Now, this is really good because quick challenges, after you complete one or two in one game, the next game they refresh and give you new ones. They're basically unlimited 1,000 XP, except you got to do some challenges. So, um, nine times out of ten, quick challenges are going to help you a lot. Especially if you completed your weekly weekly challenges and you're still not high level, grind quick challenges. Now the second one we're gonna talk about punch cards. Blue XP tokens, green ones, purple. XP tokens are found around the map. Now there, the blue ones are hidden. I know the green ones are. The purple ones are random places. You could go on YouTube and search up all purple coins in Fortnite Island or Fortnite. And you're going to get thousands of videos explaining where the blue ones are, where the green ones are, where the, where the freaking, I don't know, purple ones are. And it's going to be really good because it's free XP. All you really got to do is just collect it and you're done. So make sure to collect all the coins you can get. That's one thing you can do along with quick challenges. Now weekly challenges man, weekly challenges are really good, why? Because they literally give you 35,000 XP, that's awesome. Now I think I'm done with all of mines, yeah, so if you're missing any weak challenges, do them right now, doesn't matter how hard they are, do them right now, it's really good. Okay. So quick challenges are going to be amazing. They give you a ton of XP and what place top 10 souls, souls will do is just camp it out. Simple. You know, just camp it out. Play squad so the time can go faster. Explosive weapon eliminations, that might take a while. But you know, you can always go on Team Rumble, loot, 
a supply drop and you're good pistol eliminations are everywhere easy team rumble harvest metal easy team rumble right at loop shark easy team rumble okay team rumble is gonna help you a lot especially on Phil because you be getting challenges like loot 100 chests or kill 50 players and it'll give you 80,000 XP which is way too much trust me um and team rumble can help you a lot with that teammates can just round go around loot chests and stuff like that so yeah I hope this video helped you uh overview of what we gotta do quick challenges grind them even though they're 1000 XP and weekly challenges absolutely all of them uh I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.